Welcome back to Zorg is kind of terrible at the Age of Myth. Um, last time, we died. And then we walked a whole lot, found some cool stuff, and then promptly, due to sheer idiocy, literally within sight of the home base, died again. So, I think we went this way. Oh, bloody hell. Ah. Uh. All right. Creepers we can deal with. That's cool. Oh, hey, raspberry bushes. I remember picking raspberries from these bushes. That means I'm not going the right direction. Alright, skill jumps. Slightly different fashion than last time. I think we might be able to bypass a fair amount of the jungle traversing. Did I just come back? Or Damn it! sunset, at least, right? should have a pretty good idea of where I'm going after having traversed it several times. Hello. Are you? Oh, you are a shaman and you are shooting magic balls at me. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. I am slowed. Oh, that is terrible. Right.
seeds over here? Any of them food related? Nope. Alright, well we're gonna go back into the jungle. to navigate the jungle in the dark. When things are loading, it slows down. Oof. I fall? I think I fell somewhere. <sighs> Minecraft jungle spooky in the dark. All the monsters are just running wild. What a stupid decision I have made. Now I'm running out of food. And I found a temple, dude. But I really don't want to go inside it. Oh no, I. Yeah, we're not gonna adventure in there. We're just gonna be mostly dead. Walking through the world. Cause we don't know where we're going. I guess technically I could have eaten that before I ran out of life, but... Oh well. Oh, fucky fuck. Well, this is the part where we really question what it is that we're doing. Because so far, this has been a giant pile of absolute failure. Because we don't really know where we're going. And I keep dying trying to get back. And I don't have a bed. And... 
it's nighttime and I can't see anything. And we're jumping through a freaking jungle. And we're gonna go do something stupid. That worked out pretty well. Alright, and we have now found two jungle temples, unless this is the same one that I just found the other time while getting horribly lost. Oh! Right. Well, it might be as good a time as I need to go check out what's inside that jungle temple. Oh, I didn't mean doing it like that. Woo! <sighs> Sometime, someday the sun will come. Someday I'll find my way. Oh. Don't know what's making that noise, but I'm not going toward it. Maybe we're coming to the end of the jungle. That's a great sign right there. Haven't seen it before, so... Well, here's a different biome that I haven't encountered yet. Hello, witch. Good, you're non-hostile. not look like water. Well... Something was on fire over here. That's good. Yep, the jungle's on fire. Nothing wrong. Nothing to see here. Move along. Okay, this is a massively awesome tree.
I have a sneaking suspicion that I am not in a good place. Oh, and something is shooting at me. Oh, and I'm going to probably die again. No! That was not what I wanted to do. Oh! And there's the person with the bow. Alright, one more try. I like how it kind of throws me up in these trees randomly. Going this way. That was the creeper blast. This coastline eventually is where we ran into the abandoned fort, which is where we eventually found our way back to the main area. So, what have we learned from all of this? Don't break your bed. Friendly cobble golem over there, that's good. straight through on this. Oh, there's the mine. That's a good sign. good feeling about this route. And of course, the moment I say that I have a significantly less good feeling about this route, and there's another floating. Is that the same floating I have for the planet? It's significantly shorter. Oh man, anytime I see something that I've never seen before, I know it's going to be bad for me. <sighs> I 
ね。Coastline, right? What the hell? Uh, it's possible I just didn't notice that because it was night time, but we're gonna keep going this direction, I guess, maybe? Okay, I vaguely recognize that island out there. Which I think is good. Blood moon is rising. Is that from Terraria? I don't like the sound of that. Well, there is the abandoned fortress, so that's good. Let's go around the outside of this place. Okay, that's kind of awesome. Spider. Oh shit. Shit. Shit, shit. What? What was that? A fallen. Oh my god! Okay. Ah, uh, this is. Horrifying is what this is. All right, we're going to try and put together a little bit of the shelter. I know sand is not the greatest material, but it's what I have to work with right now.
And here's the boring part where we wait out the night. <laughs> because the blood moon is ridiculous. Did you see? I don't know if you can make it out on the stream, but there's just a ridiculous amount of bad guys spawning over on the beach. So we're going to move a whole pile of don't want to deal with that. Unfortunately, there's not much more to be done right now. Other than kind of waiting for the night. Um, I'm going to go out on a whim here and say that this particular mod pack is one of the most difficult ones I've played. Simply because I seem to be dying a lot in painful, terrible ways. So, yay for difficulty increases. Boo for spending several hours corpse running. Um, yeah. I think that once we do get back to my base, which I have opened with, uh, that we're going to need to revi revise our game strategy to build up gear, armor, and other things before we continue flipping around with the world. So, that's a thing. I might do the rest of this off stream just because it's really obnoxious. But uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll be terrible at Minecraft. And uh, catch you next time.